to have that constant quality under control and we are less dependent on maybe supply chain issues. Hello, my friends. Yes, Chris and I are in Germany today and we are at Knoll. Now imagine 600,000 square feet, but including the parking lot, 1.1 million square feet, starting with just a few employees with now over 1,200 around the world. But I have Chris, because we're gonna head back into the factory, but I have Chris, because he was here when it was much smaller. That's Chris, right. what was it like when you first started working with this company? I've been visiting Knoll for over 30 years now, and Matthias Knoll, the, the, uh, the managing director here, is a very good personal friend of mine. And this was just a small, very tiny family company of about you know 2,000, 20,000 square, 2,000 square meters, 20,000 square foot of factory. And if you walk into this place now, it's absolutely amazing, the change. And I come back here every four or five years, and every time I come back, it's got bigger and bigger, more professional, more automated. The place is absolutely amazing. It really is. I agree. Now let's head to the back, take the audience back there, and see a piece of this 600,000 now absolutely. from 20,000 square foot yeah, building. Exactly. I'm really excited to see all the new stuff out there as well I didn't see last time. So let's go. Well, we've made it inside the 600 thousand square foot building and I'm with my friend Luta. What a good name, isn't it? And we're going to talk a little bit about how Canole has grown, a little bit of company history. We're going to introduce you to some of the products. If you don't know, if you do know, of course you probably do. Very famous company that continues to grow and a little bit of service and support as well with a website. So stay tuned for that as well. All right, company history, my friend. From what I understand, 53 years of growth, but what it's done over the last couple of decades is absolutely inspiring. Can we talk about that? Yeah, it is. Um, the Knoll company started in 1917 as a one-man show. And uh, ever since, it became a success story. And about 53 years later, we have about here in Germany, about 1,050 employees worldwide, 1,200 employees. Mr. Walter Knoll was the founder as a one-man show, and now we are in second generation, uh, operated by Matthias Knoll with his brother Jürgen Knoll. And uh, the company ever since uh, grew potentially. And uh, with that, obviously, we have more machines. We need more place. You mentioned the 600,000 square feet on the, on the roof. Uh, and when we walk to the plant, you see the extension we had to go through. Uh, which is nice, but uh, we are glad uh, the the company took off like this. Aluda, I've had the great privilege to walk around this facility with you, and I see automation everywhere, right? Yes. And we're standing in front of some incredible index machines. Yep. So let's talk about what you're actually doing in-house, because all the products you make, almost every percentage of it is done here in Germany in this facility. Can we talk about some of the products? Yeah, that's, that's how it all started. Um, obviously, Knoll provides a uh, filtration system, conveyors, uh, and, and high-pressure pump, but also transfer pumps. And uh, when Mr. Knoll started and it took off, obviously, we are in a niche product and there was not many vendors and suppliers around. So we decided early on to start as much as we can by ourselves. And therefore, it's today also the philosophy to invest in our own uh, manufacturing processes and automate as much as we can to have that constant quality under control and we are less dependent on maybe supply chain issues um, and therefore again we reinvest in newest technology and you see it here um, index is one of our many partners on machine tools and the good thing for us we equip all these manufacturing machines with Knoll products that gives us really the chance to perform these equipment, our, our equipment for long periods of time. And uh, therefore we can see where the product is good, where the product needs to be improved. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's for us good that we see this in our own factory and not just hear it from the outside in. So that gives us the chance to early on optimize and uh, enlarge our quality standards. It's a very responsible way to go about business, if I'm being honest, right? So. As I'm looking around, and you've talked about the products already, you've kind of gone over that it's in-house, right? You've, we've discussed the importance of doing this, the German engineering, but would you mind sharing in your opinion or your beliefs, or the company's beliefs even, where you guys really shine and stand out for the audience who's just learning right now about Cano, who you are, you're growing up around the world, obviously, certainly here in Germany, you're 
substantially famous and you're getting ready to open, I believe in the Carolinas and the US as well, right? So let's, with the audience who's learning about Canole, where do you really shine a spotlight on the industry and support them? I would say, uh, since we do this since many, many years, we involved over time and we have a very wide spectrum of equipment. Mainly our core competence is filtration, conveying, pumping. Uh, so basically we divide or separate the chips and the coolant lubricants, number one. Um, number two is we can set these systems up in a centralized arrangement, but also decentralized. So each machine has his own system. And then we have a very broad spectrum on different filters for different application or industries. So that makes us, I would say, unique. We can supply filter for machine tools, milling, grinding, but then also super finishing. Machinist in my previous lifetime, I weighed the crucial mistake to overlook my coolant from time to time to time, the importance of a chip conveyor, the importance of cleaning my pumps and making sure they're good. So I lead into that because it's important to also talk about service and support, isn't it? Right. And we all know, certainly the audience that watches MTD regularly, yeah, I need service and support when I was a machinist because I overlooked. Yep. So what does service and support mean to you? And what does it mean to Canole as well? And what do you do to support the industry from the service side? Yeah, I mean, uh, it becomes more and more uh, important to us uh, as it also uh, started here in Germany. Um, a lot of times the chip conveyors or filter is overlooked, but then when it's down, the whole system is down. And therefore we have to be on alert. This way, we started early on to start with a service center to have most common parts in stock, but also have field service technician available. And since uh, also we deal in different continents, obviously we started to have our own subsidiaries staffed with the same time quality employees we have here in Germany and have also the parts in stock, for example, in America, in Asia, um, or outside of Germany, in Italy, Sweden, Poland, where we have our own subsidiary. And if we don't have our own subsidiary, we have a distribution network with good partners and they come regular here to our headquarters for training and education. On top of it, it's important that we educate our customers and end users alike before they pick a system that we know what kind of chips, what is the flow rate, what is the end product look like so that we can bring the best solution forward and also train our partners early on so that when the equipment comes that we have right away a superb uptime together in the system. You know, I hadn't even thought to ask this question, but it goes full circle for the audience when we talk about the foundation of the company to bring it all back around before we go into the website is I'd love to quickly discuss your apprentice program because that's kind of the heartbeat right when we talk about service and support the growth of a company over all these years the massive growth even you know opening this thing with Chris when he was here 30 years ago or so the apprentice program is so important to you guys here and that goes to the service and support of the audience as well when we're talking about making sure we know the product well Yes. Can we talk about the apprentice program? Yeah, absolutely. The apprentice program here in Germany uh, is key and um, very important for us, but also we have apprenticeship programs for us, for our factory, as soon as we move in, in America, also in America. But the apprenticeship program serves uh, two purposes. We train the people early on, on the technology, parallel they go to school for vocational training. So they have the vocational knowledge and they gain the practices, the practical knowledge right here in our factory. Then they get transferred to all the departments. So when they're finished after their three and a half years program, some programs are a little shorter, um, they can immediately work 100% and they know what they're doing. And this is important for the success because we wanna keep our high quality standards. We wanna provide a top-notch product in our industry we want to continue to be the leader and therefore it's key to have good employees motivated employees and also then the culture we can train the culture early on cleanliness 5s punctuality uptime all this is important and the earlier we can do it the better it hones in and and they think alike when they're older I mean, and we went all through an apprenticeship program. Myself went through an apprenticeship program. So there's a big buy-in also from our owners that apprenticeship is key. 
Uh, we get also students in. In the moment, we have about 10% of our total employee count is always apprentices. So in the moment, we have about 120 apprentices plus trainees and interns. We have about 13 apprenticeship tracks, electrician, mechatronics, and others. And that's very important to our DNA. And that secures the success for the future because we need that talent pool, constant talent pool, uh, for our growing worldwide operation. And then also for the US subsidiaries or, or Asian uh, subsidiaries, we welcome also the trainees when they are good. They're welcomed uh, in these foreign continents to learn the language, to learn another culture. So we know our growth is a lot in exporting our equipment and therefore it's super important that we find people that are open to work with other cultures and also like to travel throughout the world. That's very important to us. My friend, that is very well said. Thank you You're for speaking welcome. English with me. I wish my German was better, oh. but for <laughs> now so we're much. speaking English for everyone watching. Knoll, K-N-O-L-L, -L -L, that is how you say it for my friends in America who are mispronouncing it. Knoll, America.com is the website. Give these yes. guys a look. Around the world, Google works really well, but if you wanna have success in the world of pumps and filtration and chip conveyors, give these guys a look. Give my friends here a look. Amazing company here. Thank, Thank you, you so again much, one Tony, more time. for coming. Appreciate it. Thank you. Well, we finished the tour here at Canol, and as you can see, it's raining, but I thought it was incredibly informative and worth it to kind of step outside and kind of go over their slogan as well. It's very simple, very informative, and it works. So here at Canol, 600,000 square feet, 1.2 million, including parking, and 1,200 employees around the world. This is Canol, and yes, it just works.